Hello to all Ghana loving Ghanaians from all around the world. Welcome to North Siege, Ghana, where it's all about patriotism and the hope for a better Ghana from a country and people point of view. Please do remember to like the video and share to all other Ghanaians. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, a news carried by Ghana Web on the subject the U.S. Uh, government or the U.S. Uh, military has pledged their support for Ghana and Africa as a dumb matter. Uh, but I have some few concerns to raise as a Ghanaian. And this is what it says. U.S. ready to help Africa deal with coups, violent security threats. And this is coming from General Stephen J. Townsend, the commander of the U.S. Africa Command. Now, the United States of America is ready to support Ghana and other African countries to respond to security threats in the region. I will deal more on the cool, cool side of things because this, this statement is coming because of the trends in the South, uh, West African countries. At least we can count five um, military actions and the possibly six because as of a couple of days ago there's been uh, um, a reports of gunshots in the Guinea-Bissau around the presidential palace but we pray it's not in Ghana we love our fourth republic and we want it to continue but that is no reason for us to allow uh, foreign influences that will not help us as far as peace is concerned. This is what is said. General Stephen J. Townsend said, the U.S. government had provided Ghana with equipment, support, deployed training, research, and advisory teams against any political volatility. Now, this is my issue. We Africans all me as a Ghanaian and all other Ghanaians, we are not violent people. We don't hate ourselves. I personally am not in support of any military actions or coup. But in all the instances in Guinea, Burkina Faso, all the countries where the military took over, the people jubilate, the people celebrated. Why don't we ask why? Why is it that the people seem to jubilate when the military acted? In this particular story, in that conversation, he has identified what the problem is. Why don't we address the problem? Why don't we resolve the problem? Rather than supplying Ghana with equipment, whatever these equipments are, military equipment, I don't know. But if we leave the problem unchecked and we are equipping Ghana, I don't know which group of Ghana is being equipped, then we are setting ourselves up for an armed conflict because in all the instances where America has gotten involved with another country to resolve issues of this sort, it results into armed conflict. Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, let's talk about um, up north Africa, uh, Libya. We don't want that to happen in Ghana. We love our Ghana and we love the peace. But one thing remains, which has been rightly identified in this story and I'll read it out. He said what? The commander said, lack of governance, uh, lack of good governance and corruption were causes of political instability in Africa. Also, if you rightly know, the lack of good governance and corruption is what is causing the military to act in that way. What are we going to do to resolve those? Because in the absence of bad governance and corruption, I don't think any of the military in Africa will attempt to overthrow any of their governments. 
So once you have identified rightly what the problem of, our, uh, of Ghana is, I don't want to broaden it to Africa. Ghana is, why don't we solve that problem? Why don't we make sure that the, our political leaders don't stash their monies abroad in your banks? Why is it that you don't see to it that when you allocate, you give them grants, aids, whatever the form is, the money is, or the resources is, there is a thorough auditing of what has been done and where did the money go to? Because in the now, Ghana is said to have owed 344.5 billion. Go to Ghana and see. Go and check our schools. Go and check our medical facilities. You should be supplying us with medical equipment. You should be supplying us with computers. You should be supplying us with educational equipment, not military equipment. We don't want any armed conflict in Africa, in Ghana. General Stephen Jane Thousand. You know the problem. You have said it yourself. That lack of good governance and corruption is the reason. So why not resolve the problem rather than equip Ghana with equipment to fight? We don't want to fight. We just want good governance. We don't want to fight. We just want good leadership. Let's assume that the military in America, that all the resources, all the monies that are, the fiat monies that are printed for developmental projects, for structures, for pipelines, for all the things that the social amenities, the, the things that are for day-to-day -day activities. Yes, of course, we do know that the private sector in America is functioning. Likewise, the government sector. Let's say all the resources that are channeled to these sectors ends up in an individual's account. Do you think the military in America will sit down and watch that 90% of the roads in America is potholes? Children don't have good schools. When people are sick, they have to fly out of America and go for medical services, including the politicians. You think the American military... The SEAL team, all those special teams that you have will not act? I am not in support of any coup. But you cannot rightly identify what the problem of Ghana is. Corruption and lack of good governance. And yet, says that you are supplying them with equipment. To what end would that be? We want support for education. We want support for our medical services. We want support for infrastructure building. We, we're not wanting support for when all those are done and we become the envy of our neighboring countries, then equip us with arms to defend ourselves. But in the now, it is a matter of us you have identified rightly lack of good governance and corruption. That is the fundamental problem that needs resolving, not equipping us with military equipment that will end up into an armed conflict. You don't want that. I thought to talk about it. The light come your way. God bless Maragana. Long live the Fourth Republic. Remember to share the video. Like it so you can hear more from Ghana and People Point. No partisan sentiments. This is not right. We have serious issues. Issues that require attention now, including corruption. And yet you will not do anything about those, but you are comfortable to equip us to fight ourselves. What do you think they're going to use those equipments for? God bless Maragana. Long live the Fourth Republic. See you in my next video.